Oh, Chucky. I just can't with you anymore. We used to know each other. We used to love each other. But now, it's like I don't even know you. Ah! <laughs> Chucky, you fucking head! And scene. Thank you. Thank you. That's active. Dracula, the killer. Great Dracula. Hi, welcome to the Stone Dracula Review. I'm your host, Ryan Stone. And I'm Narcissa Oop. Narcissa Oop. <laughs> and we're here to review the, Ru the RuPaul Blue Brothers, Dragula.com forward slash Twitter with my friend Chucky. What did you think of this episode? I I very much enjoyed it. I was lucky enough to enjoy it at a viewing party, my first Dragula viewing party ever. Wow, that's uh, exciting. I was hosted by Benediction and Astrid. Wow. And... If you know, if you've seen the episode, this is a very big one for Astrid. <laughs> yep. So it was interesting being there for that. It was very fun though. Last episode, Melissa quit and Coco comes back into the boudoir and reads everybody to filth. Yeah. As she should. Fired up. Mm hmm. She says, disrespectfully, fuck all y'all. Yeah. That's awesome. Because it's like, True, it's like everybody just kind of left mm -hmm. Melissa to feel shitty and nobody did anything about it yeah. except Coco. That sucks. It does. But also it's Dragula. <laughs> also that. So shit happened. It is tough. <laughs> it is tough. So the Fright Freak this week, how did you feel about it? Oh, I loved it. I thought it was incredible. I think that there should be a lie detector right feet, like, more often. Yeah, I think it should be in every season. And they added a shock this episode. Yes. So if you if you get caught trying to be deceptive, you get shocked. I love that. It was so good. Coco literally just decided to lie all the time. Yep. And sometimes it was actually truthful, and she was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't think that was the truth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was really funny. I thought it was very entertaining. Ah, um, it was great. Good way to like purge everybody's stress about each other. Yeah, yeah. Although Coco, I don't think was on the same page about it being as uh, trust building as the others. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And nobody wins because it's just uh, <laughs> it's just a lie detector test. Yep. And then they get their assignment, which is iconic horror icons. <laughs> horror icons. Which is why I decided to dress as Tiffany Valentine. Yep. The Bride of Trippy. Yes. And, and I am, Nurse Ninja. I'm in a different state, so I had to pre-plan two looks, so they will not be related to the challenge at all. So, Narcissa was supposed to say, I am a horror icon. Oh. <laughs> I am decided to be myself, but she fucked it up. Basically, all they talk about is how they thought the Fright Feet brought them together, and it's just Coco side-eyeing them and being like, yeah, sure. The very beginning of the floor show starts with their skits, and the first skit is Coco as the Boulay Brothers. Yes. Which, I at first, she was hinting at her look, and my only guess was Elvira. I didn't Yeah. No. And then she started the speech, and then I immediately got it, and I loved it. Yeah, she well, she was like, she was talking about her costume, and she was like, "I'm not giving it away now, but you should be able to figure it out." And I was like, "I have no idea." Yeah, I was like, "I don't have any idea." <laughs> yeah, I did not. But she did do a really good job of taking the concept of the Blade Brothers and making it her own. Yes, I loved the blood with the right sense of yeah, the stones. So yeah, it was yeah. so beautiful. Yeah, I Big loved it. Big pointy silvers, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yep, and her then, hips were out. It was great. And the I hair loved the little flip. Yeah, it was adorable. I loved it. 10 out of 10. Yeah, very smart choice. <laughs> yeah. Next was... Victoria. <laughs> Black. Vicky, Icky Vicky as the crypt keep her. Yes, Because she was a lady. <laughs> Correct. And I uh, thought she really pushed herself out of what we've seen from her in the past. Because the acting was yeah. so committed and full out. It was yeah. so good. 
the look was fantastic. Well, and it was very energetic, and that's not something that she does all that often. Yeah, yeah. Her so performance, she... like her little skit, was very energetic. I was like, yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. She really it's like, came alive. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was still draggy, not mm -hmm. just prosthetics, but very draggy too. Exactly. And the book and that artwork on the cover of the fake comic book looked so cool. Yeah, it was very cool. I think she uh, learned from last week and this week everything was like also 10 yeah. out of 10s. Second before Victoria was Hoso Teratoma, whose look yes. was also so good. Really, really good. The girl from the ring, the original Ringu. Yes, Sonico, I believe. Yes. It was, yeah, no, she did a great job. Yeah, it was so good. The texture of the dress was so awesome. And it kept that same kind of silhouette, but mm -hmm. it also covered it in like hair, like wet hair kind of snaking around it and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was so, it was creepy as fuck. Yeah, I think it was like, one of the I like actually it. scary ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hoso can be really scary sometimes. Like yeah. the way they paint her face, especially sometimes, like I'm just like, you're fucking scared. <laughs> yeah, I think they just a huge compliment. Yeah, I think I think that's what they like in a artist because they're obsessed with a Abora's art, and that's yeah, like totally. what Abora's good at capturing is actually yeah, being scary. actually fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I love Tosa's the TV head, everything, and the huge TV behind her. Like it all just added to the. The story yes. too. I lived for it. It was great. And now we get to Eva Destruction. I liked it, but it, I feel like I wanted the hair to come off and there'd be like a big brain or something. Well, the Boulay Brothers really focused on the fact that it needed to be reimagined. Yeah. It needs to be you in this character. And Eva did a really great job of being one of those alien women from Mars Attacks. Yeah but it wasn't super different. Right. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, and it was just it's very late similar. in the competition, that's enough to get you sent home. Yes, unfortunately. Which yeah. is sad, because I would love to see how she would do the final three looks. But... I would love to, yeah. That would be yeah. amazing. Womp womp. And then last, we have Astrid Aurelia as the Predator. The yes, so Astrid predator. wanted to bookend her chapter because she won the first episode of season four as the Xenomorph from Alien. And then, so she was like, I'm gonna finish the chapter with Predator. Makes sense. Yes. Was not executed the way that I was hoping for. It was no. like Rave Predator. Right, right. And I feel like it just didn't meet the level of craftsmanship overall as the Xenomorph. Exactly, because you're directly comparing it to that. She basically told us to. Right. And the Xenomorph was incredibly constructed. Yeah. And her makeup was so fucking cool. And like, it was really, really great. So this was just a lot less exciting. Yeah, I agree. Like. Yeah. I thought it was really cool that she lined it with like the pink neon. Like mm -hmm. I liked the idea of it. Yeah, it looked better in the dark when you just saw the glow. And then when the lights yeah. were on, it was kind of disappointing. Yeah, totally. Which is sad. So the question of consequences keeps coming up. Yep. Oso and dun, Eva dun, dun. both got saved from extermination. The Boulay brothers were like, there will be consequences. Yeah. And everybody's like, fuck, why, like, put the consequences on them. Why do I have to have consequences? Right. Especially Coco. Coco was not having it. No. She no. was not having it. She was no. like, why, why does this have to, anything to do with me? <laughs> yeah. But what we learn is the consequences are Two people have to be eliminated this episode. Yep. So in their podcast, the Boulay Brothers kind of explained, they normally do 10 episode se seasons. Mm -hmm. This season started with a double-sized premiere. It was like a two-hour premiere. Oh, wow. That basically was the first two episodes, is what they're saying. So the ninth episode of this season will be the last, because the first two was, or the first episode was basically two. Gotcha. Yeah. So they have to eliminate two people this episode to make a top three for the finale. Two out of five of you are going home today. It's like, fuck. Yes. Which, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. happened to be Astrid, Astrid and, and Eva, Eva Destruction. Destruction. Making our top three 
Hosoteratoma, Coco Kane, and Victoria Elizabeth Black. Very familiar to the top three that I have been predicting since the beginning of the season, I will point out. Thank you. So we have Great. a top three. Coco won the episode. Yes. So she was safe from elimination. Everybody else was up for elimination. Yep. They descended the staircase of souls two at a time. Yep. First Coco and Astrid. I feel like both of these pairs, the results were obvious. And well, yeah, that, that's what was kind of funny because Coco was like, I'm walking up these stairs. I don't feel nervous at all. Yeah. yeah. I know Astrid's going home. Yep. And She's like, right. The Blue Lake Brothers. Yes. Says, Astrid and Astrid Falls. And oh. then Victoria and Eva go up there, and then they try to do a little switcheroo. No, and they, say, they got me. They got me with this one. Yeah. And they stood up there, crossed their arms, <laughs> and Spontula said, Victoria. And I went, <gasps> <laughs> You have also made it to the top three. And then Eva fell well, through the ooh. fucking trap door. Yeah. They said, Let's play with their emotions real quick. Let's just I was let both of gagged. them. I was gooped, gagged, beans, Gagula. Gag. Yeah. It is Gagula, yeah. But they ended up not eliminating Victoria, of course. Right. And Eva, unfortunately, was also sent back to the void of darkness. <sighs> yeah. To continue her eternal slumber. Rest in peace. Eva, destruction. For fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For fuck's so, sake. So, we want to know what y'all think. Yes, who do you us. think is going to win? Tell us in the comments, who is your pick to win this season? Coco, Victoria, or Hoso? I've said it from the beginning. I'm team Coco. Yes, I am torn. I want Coco to win, but I would predict that Victoria will win. I think Victoria will win. I would love for Coco to win. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, she'd, get, she'd be the underdog win. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I don't see Hoso so, winning. Um, who was your original top three again? Do you remember? Um, I, I think don't. It was like, it was I like don't remember. Jovska, Eva, and Melissa. Yes, yes. I think you should do a little skit acting as yourself. Okay. I'm not taking off my sweatpants, Brenda. Oh, God. When are we starting this shit show? I'm ready. Ew. That's your look? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then I'm guessing you're just like helping the cameraman line it up because I know that's not the end line. Um, I'm going to need a sugar-free white monster with a straw in it. And then I'm going to need a vape pen and it better be sativa. And if there's less than a gram, um, we're going to have a problem. So. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We record now, please. Oh, but you are the talent? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Good thing I'm a fucking professional because this is way beyond my pay grade working with this shit show. I'm ready. Recording? Yes. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome. Oh, oh my God. I love your look. You look fantastic. I love your look. Thank, Thank you. you. And see. Okay, now let me do my scene. Okay. And then we'll cut to my scene that I already filmed. <laughs> <laughs> what other thoughts do we have about this season as a whole? The season as a whole. I've enjoyed it, but I feel like something was missing. There was no Monsters of Rock challenge. True. That True. was strange. That was strange. There was no circus challenge. Oh yeah, those are both kind of strange. standards. It was very weird. I mean, they the Boulet Brothers said it. It is a different show. It's not Dragula. It is Titans. It is a different thing. And they were right. It was very different. <laughs> True. We were along for the ride, but there were some things that I was just like, I don't... Like, this doesn't feel like Dragula to me. Yeah. A lot of well, unfortunately the... repetitive drama, but... Yes, yes. It's still fun drama. I enjoyed it. I a couple of storylines lasted the whole season. <laughs> yep. The whole season. The hole. So it's all about some hole. Hoso's hole. That's what my makeup look is inspired by. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for a new co-host for season five. Speaking of which, as of recording this episode today, season five 
has officially opened casting. So casting is open from right now all the way until January 31st, then it is closed. Then they will go through all that shit. They'll do all that shit. I'm assuming season five will be filmed early summer. Yeah, 2023. probably. That's my guess. That's probably the easiest time for them to do it. Yeah, I really hope filming's done before Final Fantasy 16 comes out so I can play it on watch. Because they always like to have <laughs> seasons coming out around October. Halloween. For obvious reasons. Stay tuned. We have a lot more going on. We have the finale episode and we have a bloopers episode that's going to be coming out. Yes. All the bloopers from the whole season of Titans the in one video. Season. Edited by our fabulous editor, Kevi. So please Say go follow Kevi. her. Say yes. Kevi. She is amazing. She also has her own YouTube channel. Um, yep. All the links are in the description. So please Booktuber, go support. Drag queen. Drag creature like us. Oh, yeah. We understand each other. Yes, so we we're honored to have her on our team. So yes. stay tuned. The other thing we have going on is the stoned movie review. Yes. And very we still excited. haven't recorded our review of season three. So there's so much to do. True. <laughs> so much to do. So if y'all aren't subscribed, if you don't have the bell notifi notification on, Ding. then what the fuck are you doing? And uh, stay tuned because next week is the finale. We are going to crown a winner of the Boulay Brothers Dracula Titans season one. Also, we're serving Finale Eleganza. So make sure to stay tuned because our looks are gonna be very exciting and cute. I know I'm gonna be looking hot and sexy. I know Narcisca's gonna be looking similar. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see about that. We'll see. Narcisca might blame traveling on her looking bad next week too, but who knows? <laughs> I will not look bad, bitch. Just kidding. Yeah, you better. Because I got fists. Obviously. And there's plenty of grass to roll around in. There is... <laughs> Put some titties on, bitch! <laughs> I love it. I love Dracula. And I hope you love Dracula too. Of course you do. Anyway, stay tuned. I love you all. See you later. Bye. Drag. Filth. Horror. Glamour. Dracula. Dracula. Dracula.